Colonial Church, Jeff Lindsay, senior pastor. I'm sitting in the courtyard here at the church and uh, it's, it's almost September. It means that the summer is now behind us and we're looking into the fall. Thought it'd be a good idea to just maybe update you where we've come from, kind of where we're at currently and, and kind of looking into the fall where we're headed. I know that many of you have had lots of questions. What's going on at Colonial Church? Well, I hope I can answer a few of those this morning. You know, we've come a long way since March when we pivoted because of the COVID outbreak. Life has changed for everyone. Certainly life has changed for this church. But I want to assure you that we've continued to be the church. We have continued to do what God has called us to do. It's been different. It's been a challenge. But we've done some amazing things as God has led us. You know, when we pivoted, we started you know, doing worship, you remember? We started doing it on Facebook and we started to do it on YouTube and it was from my house and from, uh, it was echoing. And then we hired a production staff and the services got so much better. And the product that we're offering you every Sunday morning, we really hope has drawn you in and encouraged you to celebrate God in your midst and to look to God well, since then, we've also hired a youth staff, and they have been doing amazing things. We've had camping trips. We've had water games on the, on the front grass. We have had bonfires. We have had lots of uh, opportunities for them to gather and to communicate with one another. The youth group is beginning to grow, and we're beginning to develop volunteers who are also getting to know our kids. So youth ministry is happening in some wonderful ways over the summer. We have had some wonderful adult ed. We have been talking through book studies. We've done Bible study. We've had, you know, everything from podcasts to Monday morning <laughs> meditations. And of course, still doing worship every single week. We have begin to deeply involve ourselves back into missions. And over these fa past few months, we've had food drives and we, we've had school supply drives. And we've gone into the community and invited them to be a part of it as well. We have been actively involved in being the church with each other, with the community around us, and even the greater Twin Cities. It's been exciting to see how we can still be the church, even in these COVID times. But now, where are we right now, today? You know, we are still having uh, drive-in movies. We're still having uh, music events in the parking lot. We're still trying to use the outside of our church uh, for a variety of events just so people can come and remember their church, remember each other, and to think about how God is continuing to use us. But I also want to let you know that some change is coming. The reality is that we are going to begin to reopen our church. We're gonna do it very carefully. We're gonna do it very slowly. Why? Because we don't wanna put anybody in jeopardy. Yes, we wanna be back together. Yes, we wanna gather and worship and do Bible study and have fellowship with one another. We wanna do all those things. But there's nothing that's happening in the world right now that suggests that we are any safer now than we were before. And so we've gotta be very careful. There are some protocols in place with social distancing and wearing masks and and being careful with one another. And we're gonna follow those. But starting September 8th, just after Labor Day, we're going to begin to open up the building. What we've learned over the summer is that we can do some weddings and some memorial services for under 50 people. Maybe it'll be five Bible studies of 10 people. Maybe it'll be a youth program that's happening down in the pond room. Maybe there'll be a group that is meeting up in the hearth room. Maybe we'll be using the meeting house. So any given day we could organize, we could plan around having people in the building under 50, being the church, experiencing one another, continue to grow in our faith. Now, we're gonna do that by being very organized. We're gonna do that by calling in the church and reserving space. We're not just gonna show up. Yeah, the building's gonna be open, but it's not gonna just be open for people to just come and go like it used to be. It'll be organized, it'll be planned. That way we can make sure that 
We know where everybody is in the building, their social distance. We can make sure that those spaces get cleaned and are ready for the next group that might come in. I also want to let you know that starting in October, we're going to try to do some in-person Sunday morning worship. Oh, we're going to continue to do the productions that are going to be streamed on Facebook and YouTube. But for 50 or less, we're going to meet twice a month, first Sunday and third Sunday, in the meeting house, and we're going to do some worship together. It'll be a bit different. We'll be sitting separate. We'll be wearing masks. The music will come from the balcony. We probably won't sing hymns. We probably will hum our hymns, but we'll be able to be together. You'll have to sign up. You'll have to let us know you're coming. You'll have to check in. All the things that you have heard about that other groups are doing, other churches are doing, we're going to follow some of those same protocols. I also want to let you know that as we think about opening the church, that we have developed what we call a brain trust. It's a group of about a dozen people from Colonial Church that have expertise from medicine to risk management to some lawyers, people that can give us a perspective who know Colonial Church but also know what's happening in the world and also have some expertise around informing us of what's the best ideas leading towards the changes that we are focusing on going forward. Primarily opening the building, how we can do that and how we can do that safely. We're going to continue to lean on them. We're going to continue to look to the CDC and to the Minnesota Health Department, to listen to our governor, and we're going to make the best decisions. We don't know exactly what's coming, but if there's a chance for us to pivot and, and maybe encourage some other kinds of worship or do some other kinds of things, we're going to do that. We're going to do the best that we can with what we have, making sure that you're safe, that we're safe, and that we're being the church to the best of our ability. We have been the church. We're continuing to be the church. We're looking for ways that we can be the church going forward. And that's actually going to be our theme this fall, is being the church. You know, there's being the church and there's us being the church, right? There's the church standing and the church operating, but then there's us. How are we being the church to one another, with one another? Looking to God's leadership, looking for His Spirit to lead us. We're going to get through this. We're getting through this. We have a staff in place now that doesn't have anything with interim in front of it. We have hired a youth staff. We're in the process of hiring children's ministry. We are opening up our building. We're using our facilities to the best of our ability. And we're looking to you, the congregation, to give us leadership, to give us feedback, to share your opinions and ideas. And together, we'll get through this COVID world on the other side, still be in the church, maybe even be in the church better than we've been in the past. So, looking forward to the ways that we'll see each other in the future. Bless you, my friends, and bless Colonial Church. Mm -hmm.